Where have all the booklets gone? All the players' guides we've had all along. Where, oh, where have the booklets gone? They're gone, gone, gone. Da, 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 da. Skadoosh. Joey Moss, Bad Boy MTG. Shadows over Innistrad. Let's crack open a Shadows over Innistrad booster box, man. I remember when these were going for 85 bucks. It's crazy. It is crazy. Crazy times. Look at those eyes. Let's bust this open. Kyle. Kyle F. May the magic gods forever be on your side. Let's pull some freaking value out of here. Some prices have gone up on a few of these cards because of werewolves. Some zombie action. Relentless dead, to name one. Let's see what happens. Let's get to crack it, Captain. This might be the third or fourth box I've ever cracked on this channel, so pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I couldn't fit all the booklets on here, by the way. Let me show you something. Let me show you something! Still got a bunch more. <laughs> Uh, and not only this, but I have a whole bunch more beyond this as well. Anyone collect these things? They're pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, they did away with them, man. They were, uh, they were fun while they lasted. You used to get them in bundles or better known at the time as fat packs. We used to call them fat packs, but then everyone got offended. I don't know. That's life, man. So we're going to skip through the commons. Cool set. And you go, hot damn, baby. Somebody cool me off. Holy crap, my britches just caught fire. Hot diggity darn. We have ourselves Relentless Dead. Oh my goodness, you zombie nasty man, you. You filth among freaking zombies. That's hot to trot. Off rip, the most expensive card in the entire set. Right there. Video's over. <laughs> well, we got about 35 packs more to go. Maybe we'll pull up two Relentless Deads. That's possible. And if we do, holy smother and tithe. There's a lot of action to be holding here. There's Engulf. We got the old Engulfy. And uh, Arist Aristonauts. Arist Ar 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 Arsonists. <laughs> what did I call them? Don't even tell me. Stop it. You guys be nice to me, okay? Off rip. I can't believe you pulled it. Uh, if you don't put an F in the comments, uh, you know, if, if someone does good, what do you put? If you're not paying respects, and why is it an F anyway? Somebody just make that up. I don't know. But, um... If you're happy and not paying respects, like, what are you paying? And what letter is it that you type? Whatever letter you guys feel that is, let's hear that in the comments. Oh, and foil and golf for sure. Hot darn. This box already looking much better than the last one. I'm not going to lie. We do have a Slayer's Plate. We do have a foil and golf of the Shores. This much, I know. Mmm, mmm. And Odric. We just call him Odd. We're not going to go Odric. We're just going to call him Odd. That's Oddy. That's Oddy. Big old Oddy. And uh, yeah, these flip cards. Again, I'm not going to flip all of them, you know, so. Yeah, no, no, it's crazy. It's crazy. I did like this, uh, this set. I like Eldritch Moon more, which I think we'll be cracking Eldritch Moon uh, during uh, Forgotten Creation. Oh, poor little fella. You just got abandoned, didn't you? Hm. You are ugly. But your mama thinks you're cute. Um, we're going to... Uh, I'm going to put these over here just because I feel like I should. I don't like crossing over again. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm going to crack some Eldritch Moon when uh, Crimson Vow drops. So keep an eye out for that. Is it Crimson Vow? Is that what they call it? Invocation of St. Traft. My oh my. I don't think you've changed in value at all. But you're still a cool card, nonetheless. Duskwatch Boy. Oh, we got a uh, Mythic... Or not Mythic, we got a Rare... Uh, rare flipper. It's pretty cool. So yeah, these sets, I remember when I first opened these, I was like, this is so cool. The whole concept of this, or the whole, like, the whole placement of cards. Because I think this, correct me if I'm wrong, this may have been the first set where we got multiple rares. We got multiple rares in one pack. Right? Unless it was a foil, you know? But this set, it was like, no, 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 no. What we're going to do here, my friend, is give you a possibility for two rares. There's Tamiyo, bada bing, uh, with this slot right here. So that was really neat. And they delivered. Kyle, they delivered. These packs open funny. It's like the adhesive just kind of wore off. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. That card it does see a lot of play. People like it. It's a good zombie. Really annoying. Hermit. 
And that's all she wrote. Alrighty then, moving along. So yeah, Eldritch Moon will be popping up soon, guys. I'm actually looking forward to that. Altered Ego, I just hope by the time I crack it, it's not like $2.50 a box or something. Because it, uh, it was favored over this set. Altered Ego is a good card, by the way. Uh, Westvale Abbey, hot freaking diggity dogs, man. There you go. This thing transforms into a behemoth. The new card in Midnight Hunt. Can't hold a candle to the power of this bad boy. It's like a 6-6 demon. Weak sauce. Get out of here. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Okay, that was a cat. But it was supposed to be a werewolf. I apologize. Here we go. Mm, to the slaughter. I always like that card. Heck ton of fun right there. To the slaughter. I'll leave it up there for a second. Just pause it, you know. Okay. Need... Need more of this guy right here. More of these zombie tokens. I like the zombie tokens. These packs open, uh, they spread like butter. Let me tell you. Yep. Uh, crypt Cryptolith, right. Creatures you control have. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. For only a two drop. Does that see a lot of play? You would think it does. A <sighs> bearing researcher. Shrink. Creepy dude, man. They tried, like, redoing that other card. They just reprinted. Uh, that flips into, like, the 3-1 flyer or whatever. With this, just making it, like, a more beast mode. Nothing compares to that card, though. It's an uncommon... What is it called? Somebody help a brother out. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. No? Anyone, anyone get that? Mm -hmm. Anyone know what that's from? Mm. Markov, Markov Dreadnought. We have fun around here. Markov Dreadnought, sweet card. And the Gargoyle, dude. Wow, I don't remember the last time I saw that artwork, so that's pretty cool. Yes, what a flashback in time. That's why I, I love, I love going back through older sets. Only problem with it, the big downside, guys, is these older sets, they don't pack in much value. You can get more value out of a recent set than you can out of this, you know? And you're paying twice as much. Pretty redunculous. Not always. Not always. You know, not always. But mo most of the time. Olivia! Beautiful card. Beautiful uh, artwork on this one. One of my faves from the set. And uh, she's a great card. She's a great creature, man. That vampire knight's pretty nasty. Second mythic. We're doing good in the mythic slot. Without a doubt. Kyle. Kicking butt, taking numbers. That's what's good, baby. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. Kyle had no idea he was going to open an entire booster box of this. I'll tell you that. Sigarda's Heron's Grace. Very, very nice. B-E-A, beautiful. You and humans you control have hexproof for two exile a card from your graveyard. Put a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token on the battlefield. Boom! There we go. I like it. Third Mythic. Return to Ashes. Nice foil. Foil quality is looking mighty nice. Looking mighty nice. Crack the pack. Flip the wax. Here we go. Angel of Deliverance. Okay. With the Delirium. I'm not a fan of the Delirium stuff. Anybody? Do we have any fans of Delirium around here? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Not even kidding. I mean, Delve, that's a thing. Starts with a D as well. Delve is insanity. Dual Steed. Uh, there's Fortified Village. Some of the land cycle from here. Pretty cool. Solitary Hunter. Sure, dude. Oh, and an emblem! Arlen! We need to pull an Arlen. Did we open an Arlen in the last Shadows of Innistrad box we cracked? Which was about a week and a half ago, two weeks. Did we crack one? I'm not too sure. Mm -hmm. Eerie Interlude. Creepy chick. Reminds me of, like, a ghost in, like, my nightmare. Not a nightmare, but, like, a dream. You know, she's not nightmare quality just yet. Not yet, not yet. She could be, but not yet. Traverse the Ulvenwald foil. Yeah, baby. That's one of the better ones. Very nice, Kyle. Cool. All right, we'll take it. That's a nice little hit. I think it's a hit. I don't know. Can you hit this? And tell me one thing. Can you do with that? All right. Moving along. <laughs> what was that? Warped landscape? Nobody cares. Oh! 
All right. Colt, Woodland, and the Partisan. He did not jump in price. Some vampires, some werewolves did jump in price from this set. That young man was unfortunate and did not. I know, I know, I know. It's sad. I know, I know, I know. It's crazy. What else we got here? Always watching. Oh, good card. I mean, non-token creatures you control get plus one, plus one out of vigilance. Well, <laughs> vigilance is busted. I remember they banned Sarah Angel because it had vigilance. <laughs> that was a long, long time ago. Um, did they ban Sarah? I think they did ban Sarah Angel. Or at least they, they created an answer for it. And then they unbanned her or something like that. But yeah, I mean, that 4-4 flyer with vigilance for five. There was a time, man, that she was just too powerful. Thalia's Lieutenant's really good. There you go. Not bad. Hunter in the Plains. Hunter in the Plains. Letting loose scattered brains. Okay. Oh, inexorable blob. Glad I could pronounce that today. Nice ooze. These sets, I mean, ooh, I guess ooze? Oh, hey, hi. You went up in price lately. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. <sighs> Very, very cool. Nice werewolf right there. Very, very nice. Nice indeed. That's a good little solid hook. Little hook. Didn't go up much. I mean, it went from like a dollar something to like two or three. Something like that. Maybe four at, at most. At most. Diagraph Colossus. Love this card. Surprised to see more play. It did spike for a short while because a modern deck picked it up like a year ago and the price went beep. But then, that was like it, you know. It was like that one and done. Ooh, another foil. Pour over the pages. Beautiful foil right there. Okay. All right, Kyle. All right, Kyle. Not bad, man. No Fs in the comments for Kyle. Kyle's doing all right. I think if we could pull him another uh, nice mythic hit, that would make his day. This card is up there in price. Recently took a little dip, though. Went, like, retraced, like, 20%. I know it's nuts. I know, I know. And, oh, this one went up a little bit, too, I believe. Falcon Wrath Gorger. Yeah. Hot digs. Hot digs. Oh. Didn't you go up in price? No, maybe. I don't know. I thought it did. Could be way off about that. We are nearing third base, gentlemen. If we were playing baseball, we are almost at third. Dance with the devils. Every night. Hot damn. Nahiri the Harbinger. Nice hit right there. Beautiful, gorgeous planeswalker. That is something we all hope to see. I have that playmat. It's true. Speaking of playmats, if anyone's feeling crazy and wants to send me a playmat, I'll give you a shout out in a video. Send me a playmat. I'll use it. I'll keep it. Whatever. I don't care if it's a $10 playmat. I don't care if it's a $100 playmat. I like having more playmats. So there you go. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I'll give you a shout out at least once or twice in the videos I use it in. You know, pretty neat. Uh, P.O. Box in the description of every video on the very bottom. Burn from within. I always thought this card would amount to something, but nothing. I think it's like under a buck, something like that. What are you going to do? Gossip monger. <sighs> Got to stay away from those gossipers, guys. Keep to your own. Keep to your own. This is pack 27. Just kidding. It's like 25. Maybe 25. Epiphany at the Drown Yard. I want to have an epiphany one day soon. One day soon. Piffany at the Drown Yard. Followed by an angel. We have another angel. We have another angel. What was that song? Uh, something angel. 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 Anguished Unmaking. Nice, nice pool right there. Good for your rare slot. Sweet art. I've used that in some videos too. I love this card. Anguished Unmaking is legit. But an uninvited geist. Could have been guest, but they put geist to have some fun. Can't be blocked on the flip side. Yikes. Watch out. Foil swampy. And some stuff. Nice wolf token. Where are you hiding at? And why aren't you worth much? <laughs> All questions we hope to have answered by the end of this video. Let's go. Bam. Ever after. Oh, look at them. They're two dead zombos. You know, married all happily ever after, but they're just not happily. They're just ever after. Interesting. Oh, always like the artwork on this site every time I crack her. 
BEA beautiful. She is something you want to take home. Get a load of those eyes. Get a load of those eyes. Beautiful, beautiful eyes. Ah! Yeah, I don't want to see that. Mm, that's scary stuff. Okay. I think the adhesive wore off on these packs. That or I searched them all right beforehand. Whatever. Devil's Playground. Bado skadoosh. Devil's Playground. With Village Messenger. That's all she wrote. We'll see ya. Isn't there a sweet angel in this set? Maybe. Death Cap Cultivator. This guy. He reminds me of some friends I had back in like uh, high school days. <laughs> they were like, you know, drug hippies, you know? That's how they turned out. Half of them are still alive. Uh, anyway, yeah, moving along. Uh, such is life, huh? But I don't know, he just reminds me of some friends I had back in the day. <laughs> moving forward. Moving forward. There we go. Graph, Traverse the Uvenwald. This one in non-foil. Non-foil Traverse the Uvenwald. Okay. Autumn. We have Autumn Gloom. Thing in the Ice. Yeah, see, that's cool. When you pull something like that, it just sneaks out of nowhere. Nice little freaking hit. Where's my belt? Oh, the belt's too far away. Thing in the ice. Very, very nice. Get a load of that beast, man. Crazy things happen when this thing drops. Let me tell you. Play your cards right, pal. I'm about to win the game, baby. That could have been a mythic, honestly. Thing in the ice. And that thing went from, like, a common... Or not a common, but, like, bulk pricing. Jumped to, like, 20 bucks for a short while. Then took a stage dive. <laughs> and, like, plummeted. Back to like three, three, like two or three bucks, and then boom, shot back up to where it's at now, which is like around like eight to ten bucks, something like that, is what it is. All right, Kyle, I'd have to say overall, man, not a bad box. Uh, better than the box that came before it of the industry that we did, which was an entire break. Soul Swallower. Yeah, watch out for that. And we got this little fella, Forge Master. Three masterful packs to go. What goodness lies inside? Flame Blade Angel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uninvited Geist. And a fall. Oh, I thought we had a thing in the ice foil. Sleep Paralysis. I've had that. And I think every time I come across this card, I mention it. You ever have Sleep Paralysis? I've had it at least two occasions I can recall uh, in the past, like, ten years. It is no joke, guys. Like, I could not move... My body, like, I had no motor function. My mind was there. I was aware of what was going on. The one time I woke up, uh, it was like a, I heard a loud train, like, whistle. And, like, a train coming through, like, the tracks, like... I mean, that sounded more like a car, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and, oh, Eerie Interlude Foil. You get three rare foils. That is good, man. You did freaking Phantasmo. I like this one, too. You did really good. Very, very nice there. Kyle, good job, man. Good freaking job. Um, and then the other time, I was uh, staying in my parents' guest bedroom. This was like maybe five, six years ago, something like that. And I, I woke up. And I, again, I couldn't move. I was just stuck. And I saw this like dark uh, shadow that just like was like looking over at me. You know, like shadow people or whatnot. I was so freaking, I was terrified, but there's nothing I could do. I tried my hardest to shake my body, but it remained stiff for like a solid 20 seconds, 30 seconds. But then finally, like the thing got closer and closer. I somehow was able to wiggle out of it and like, bam, I, I got control over my body and I came to, it was nuts, but that was like sleep paralysis, skeleton key. I got one of these errors, by the way, confirm suspicions. Anyway, yeah, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. You ever have something like that crazy happen to you? Anyway, Kyle, thanks a lot, man. If anyone likes... Uh, I mean, this is rare that I do an entire box for someone, for a patron. It's maybe like two or three times a month at best. But it does happen. But if anyone wants you know, some stuff cracked or to participate in a break, see the links in the description. Right below the video on the left, look for uh, Show More. Expand that, and you'll see all the links from Instagram. TCG player affiliate link if you plan on purchasing any cards, any singles, any boxes. Great way to support the channel for free. And also Patreon. The Patreon link is there as well. So if you want to use Patreon and uh, jump on board, get a chance at being up in one of these videos. Best bet is for box breaks because a lot of people get in on those. First come, first serve, baby. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Join them off. Bad Boy MTG.
hit the like if you enjoyed the video because that's the best way to support a content creator and to watch the whole video through. If you made it this far, skadoosh to you.